manchitas. Well, he started getting these purple spots around his body, so we took him to the pediatrician. And she said there was something wrong with his blood test, that it could be Fanconi anemia. And then later she said, yes, he has it and there is no cure for this disease. I said, there has to be something we can do. And she said, we could consider a bone marrow transplant, but it costs a lot of money. And because he doesn't have health insurance, you better go back to Mexico. So his mom was going to go back home with him. We almost had the suitcase ready when the telephone rings. It was Alina telling us we had a donor and we had a hospital because the Icla da Silva Foundation had arranged everything for us. So we almost left, but thank God we stayed here. And now he is well after the transplant, but it was quite hard. I donated uh, blood about 12 years ago. The lady who was taking the blood had asked if I wanted to donate a little extra for the, the bone marrow program. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I told her, yeah, I would, I would mind. And that's how it all started. I didn't hear anything for 10, 11 years. And last year I was at work, I checked my email and I got an email from uh, South Texas Blood and Tissue. They said that I could be a possible match and they wanted to know if I would be interested in taking more tests to see if I was a match. When we found out that the young boy was eight years old and my daughter's eight years old, so being a parent, you know, we both just, we looked at our daughter and said, you know what, if, if she was sick and somebody out there could help her, uh, you know, we would be so grateful and, you know, it's, that's like the right thing to do. So our contact through the, the bone marrow program, she said that there was no, there was going to be no information for a while, at least a year. Okay. That's, that's what we were told. Mm -hmm. So for the longest time, you know, we were wondering, you know, was he okay? Did the bone marrow take? Uh, you know, was he doing better? Was, you know, we didn't know anything. We just... Yeah, a lot of unanswered questions. Unanswered questions. Just, what's his name? Where's he from? What's he look like? We just want to put a face to, you know... This little boy. This that little boy. Uh, we're going to meet him for the first time. And we're both really excited and, and, and a little nervous. <laughs> Please come forward. And Robert, Robert and Cecil, please come up. 